Now that you've learned how to change file permissions and execute commands as the super user, it's time to put this into practice. In this lecture, we'll create a new user account named John Doe and a new group called developers that we'll use in the following lecture to illustrate a bit more precisely file permissions and ownership. So let's start by opening the system preferences, go to users and groups, and click on a lock icon at the bottom of the screen to allow for changes. Now type in your password and click on a plus sign located just above the lock icon to create a new user. Fill in the form and press on create user to finish the operation. Now that you have a new user account, let's create a new user group. Go back to the users and group window and click on a plus sign once again. This time, select Group instead of Standard in the drop-down menu, enter the name Developers, and press on the Create Group button. This should bring you to a new window that shows you the list of available users on your system. From here, simply click on the checkbox right next to the John Doe account to add it to the Developers group. Finally, right-click on the John Doe user on the left side menu and click on Advanced Options. Change the user's group to Developers and the login shell to Bash. When you're done, press on the OK button and click again on the lock icon at the bottom of the screen to prevent any further changes. If you go back to your terminal window for a second and list the entries of the slash users directory, you should now see the home directory of the user John Doe we've just created. As you will need to restart your computer in order for these changes to take effect, I suggest you do it now before moving on to the next lecture.